Uh, moving on to the belt. Um, actually, I'll change this up. Let's talk about this pouch. This is the medium uh, general purpose pocket that they sell. Um, as far as I know, all their stuff is sewn and kind of manufactured by First Spear. Um, you know, First Spear is a very well known uh, producer of high quality nylon pouches and uh, different kind of tactical military type gear. So, the quality of this, um, you know, pouch, I'm not worried about. It's very good. Um, the exterior first, um, well, this doesn't come with it, but um, some Kydex sheaths, if you don't, um, a lot of knife Kydex sheaths are about this width, and so this sheath kind of just slides down in there, but that's the farthest it goes. So if you just want to store a knife quick, um, that's a simple area. So I'll pull that out. Um, I'm not going to um, unthread this from the Molly, but it has first spears. They call it 612 or 69. It's it fastens the same as Molly, but it um, reduces a lot of the clutter and the nylon straps. And um, this backing here is you know, precisely cut, sealed and everything, so it's not going to fray, ravel. Um, but pretty much you weave it just like um, nylon, or just like molly. Um, each one of these spaces here can either be a positive or a negative space, spacing. So uh, you get a little bit extra versatility. It also makes the whole pouch just a little bit lighter because you're reducing all the, um, not unnecessary, but you're reducing all the nylon um, you know, horizontal molly strips or pals, um, strips on the back of pouches. So, um, not only is it secured, um, tighter against whatever you're fastening it to, but it also reduces weight a little bit. Um, this pouch, it's quite common size. It measures about six by six by, um, fully loaded out, probably three inches. It's not too big, not too small. Like I said, it's made by First Spear. Um, and it is a 500 denier quarter of nylon. You know, some people might say, well, you can only have a thousand denier to be durable. Well, all this stuff's been durable. The backpack, the Umlindi that they make, 500 denier nylon's been durable. So um, the advantage you get is a slightly lighter weight um, kind of a more flexible, supple fabric. Um, moving on to the zippers, I'm pretty sure these are some type of YKK zipper. What I like is they use paracord here, or 550 cord. Moving on, the reason I bought this pouch is a lot of times in my backpack, I just have a lot of small stuff strewn around everywhere. So this is kind of a catch-all utility pocket. So, what can you fit in here? Well, I have, um, this is 20 feet of 550 cord, um, another 20 feet, just wrapped two different ways. Um, this is a 6 inch ferro cerium rod um, with a little bit of electrical tape. I have a um, SOL survival blanket, heat sheet survival blanket. Um, if you can see in there, and again, I just put stuff in to kind of represent the size. Uh, some of this I normally carry in here. Um, this is an open L number eight. Um, this is a Benchmade 940. This is just, it's not right in the rain, it's just a notebook. Um, lime green, so it's hard to lose, kind of leather bound, you know. I'm sure you can get a right in the rain notebook about this size. This fits really nicely right in there. It's easy to get to. Um, this is my, uh, PSK, my personal survival kit, kind of a Altoids tin survival kit on steroids. And then what I like is they have one pouch back here and then they have the main compartment and then they designed this very well. Maybe they designed it for something else, but 
um, first of all, this is a, a Sunto MC2. And if I can best represent this, um, again, this is a Sunto MC2. It's, it's a really common type of orienteering compass. It fits snugly in there. Um, so it's secure. There's uh, a mirror in there that's kind of fragile. So if it's bouncing around, you run the risk of, you know, it breaking. But this securely, um, pretty much perfect fit fits in there. So that's a Sunto um, MC2 or MC3 um, fits in there. And then um, an Altoids tin fits perfectly in there. Um, so it's not rattling around. And a lot of people do the Altoids tin, you know, survival kits. And then they might have another one for medical stuff. So you always could put, you know, two Altoids tins. Um, but this Altoids tin just has Altoids in it because I just wanted to kind of represent the size of this pocket. And if you're a fan of the Altoids tin survival kits or just using them to organize, um, one tin fits perfectly in each of these pockets. So that's a huge advantage. Um, overall, this has been really handy. Um, it's, you know, real quick, I'll just put everything that um, I fit in it. And I didn't stuff it full because, um, you know, I probably could have put it a little bit more, filled it a little bit more, but, you know, I didn't want to just jam it full of garbage. Um, so, you know, that's all that fits in it. And it doesn't seem like a lot, and it really isn't a lot of stuff, but all this is pretty much all the small stuff that in my backpack would just, I'd lose. So having it on, um, in a dedicated, uh, pouch for me is a lot simpler. In the future, I'll probably buy one more of these and use it for a first aid pouch or a medical pouch. I haven't gotten around to doing that yet, but I like this one so much I'll probably buy another one.